गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई ट्राई टू कॉम्प्लीट गिविंग ए लिटिल आइडिया अबाउट व्हाट डू मीन बाय ए कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ ए सोल्यूशन एंड द वे व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट वे टू एक्सप्रेस द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ ए सोल्यूशन मार्क दैट फर्स्ट व्हाट डू मीन बाय कॉन्सेंट्रेशन of a solution the concentration of a solution is defined as the quantity the number of parts or the amount of solute dissolved in a given amount of solvent or solution are you getting concentration of a solution is defined as concentration of a solution is defined as the quantity of solute dissolved in a given quantity of solvent or solution symbolically concentration it is represented as c is equal to n by p that means it is defined as defined as the quantity quantity of a solute quantity of a solute dissolved dissolved in a given quantity in a given quantity of solvent or solution so it is known as the concentration different way are there to represent the concentration of a solution that is percentage strength normality molarity molality mole fraction formality and parts per million or ppm mark that how we represent what are the different ways are there to express the concentration of a solution that means point one percentage point two strength point three normality concentration of a solution point one is the percentage next is the strength next is the normality molarity molality mole fraction and next one is the formality and last one is parts per million or ppm so let us discuss one by one so point one is percentage what do you mean by first we discuss the first method the first method of way to represent the concentration first one is percentage symbol is this one. so what do you mean by the percentage of a solution so percentage of a solution is defined as the number of parts of solute that means it is defined as defined as the number of number of parts of solute present 
नंबर ऑफ पार्ट्स ऑफ सजीव को कहते हैं इन हंड्रेड पार्ट्स हंड्रेड पार्ट्स ऑफ सोल्यूशन और सोल्यूशन सो परसेंटेज ऑफ द सोल्यूशन डिफाइन है इट इज द नंबर ऑफ पार्ट्स ऑफ द सोल्यूशन को कहते हैं इन हंड्रेड पार्ट्स ऑफ द सोल्यूशन अगेन देर आर डिफरेंट वे फोर डिफरेंट वे आर देयर to express the concentration of a solution that means point 1 mass to mass percentage point 2 mass to volume percentage next 3 volume to mass percentage and last one is that is for volume to volume percentage these are the different way are there to express the percentage of a solution one is mass to mass percentage that is known as w by w percentage मास टू वॉल्यूम परसेंटेज डब्ल्यू बाय बी परसेंटेज वॉल्यूम टू मास परसेंटेज दैट इज बी बाय डब्ल्यू परसेंटेज एंड लास्ट वन इज वॉल्यूम टू वॉल्यूम परसेंटेज दैट इज बी बाय बी परसेंटेज लेट अस डिस्कस वन बाय वन सो फर्स्ट वन इज मास टू मास परसेंटेज मार्क दैट फर्स्ट वन इज मास टू मास परसेंटेज Point one. That is mass to mass percentage. Symbol W by W percentage. So mass to mass percentage means what fraction mass of the solute in gram present in given volume. That means for hundred gram. Mass of the solution. I repeat again. The mass to mass percentage is defined as the mass of the solute, mass of the solute in gram divided by mass of the. It is defined as the quantity mass of the solute. It is defined as. The mass of the solute in gram quantity of solute present quantity of solute in gram quantity of solute in gram present in hundred gram of the solution. That means. Mass to mass percentage is equal to mass of solute, mass of solute in gram divided by mass of solution in gram into hundred. Mark that. Mass to mass percentage means mass of the solute in gram divided by mass of the solution in gram. Into hundred. That means if we look after one example, that means ten percent W by W. Ten percent W by W solution of sodium chloride. Of sodium chloride. It indicates that ten gram of sodium chloride dissolve in ninety gram of the water to form a solution. That solution is represented as ten percent. Move to the second one. That is mass to volume percentage. Mark that second one. Mass to volume percentage. That is m by v percentage. Similar definition is that it is defined as the quantity of solute in gram present in. 100 ml of the solution. Similar definition is there. That is, 
quantity of the solute in the gram present in 100 ml of the solute. So that means mathematically W by G percentage mathematically this is represent as W by G percentage is equal to mass of the solute in the gram divided by volume of the solution divided by volume of the solution in ml into 100 it is a mass given in gram it is a volume representing ml it is the second one move to the third one that is volume mass relations mark that third one volume to mass percentage what do we need volume to mass percentage the symbol is V by M percentage that means it is defined as the volume of the solute quantity of the solute in ml it is defined as quantity of the solute in ml present in 100 gram of the solute so, mass volume to mass means the quantity, the amount or volume of the solute in ml present in 100 gram of the solute. So, symbolically, it is represented as V by M percentage. That means volume of the solute, that means volume of solute in ml divided by mass of the solution in the gram in gram into 100 as it is a V volume in ml and as it is m that is a mass in gram so it is known as volume to mass percentage first one mass to mass percentage then mass to volume percentage then volume to mass percentage then last one is volume to volume percentage mark that volume to volume percentage volume to volume percentage that is V by V percentage so it is defined as the quantity of solute the volume of the solute it is defined as the volume of the solute in ml present in 100 ml of the solution symbolically V by V percentage V by V percentage volume of the solute in ml divided by volume of the solution in ml mark that into 100 if it is W by W then gram by gram if it is W by V gram by ml if it is V by W ml by gram if it is V by V then it is ml by ml so it is the different way to express the percentage in the form of percentage of the solution. Move to the second one, that means the strength of a solution. The second way to express the concentration of a solution means strength of a solution. So what do we mean by the strength of a solution? Represented by the symbol S, that is known as the strength. Second one is strength of a solution. Symbol is S. So, what do we mean by strength of a solution? It is defined as the quantity of a solute present in one liter of the solution. Strength, I mean again, strength of a solution is defined as the amount of solute present in liter of the solution. Mark that. It is defined as the quantity, quantity of solute present per liter of the solution. I repeat again. The strength of a solution is defined as the quantity of the solute present per liter of the solution. That means mathematically strength is equal to mass of the solution. That is 
strength symbol s is equal to mass of the solute mass of the solute in gram per volume of the solution volume of the solution in ml volume of the solution either write in liter or we write in ml that means strength so from this it is clear that the unit of strength unit of strength is expressed in form of gram per liter the unit of strength is expressed as in terms of gram per liter gram that is mass of the solute and liter that is the volume of the solution so there it is known as strength for example 4 gram of sodium hydroxide mark that for example for example for example 4 gram of sodium hydroxide dissolve dissolve in 250 ml of solution then calculate its strength mark the question we know that the strength is equal to quantity of solute dissolved per liter of the solution that means quantity of solute is 4 gram per liter of the solution volume is 250 that means 4 by 250 when the liter transfer to milliliter we multiply 1000 that means it is 16 gram per liter is the strength of that solution it is a little idea about the second way of expressing concentration that is strength move to the third one that means third way is the normality third one is normality that is n what do we mean by the normality of a solution normality of a solution is defined as the number of gram equivalent of solute present per liter of the solution mark that it is defined as it is defined as the number of gram equivalent number of number of gram equivalent of solute present per liter of the solution everybody again the normality of a solution is defined as the normality of a solution is defined as the number of gram equivalent of solute present per liter of the solution mathematically that is mathematically normality is equal to number of gram equivalent of weight of solute number of gram equivalent of solute present per liter of the solution present per volume of the solution volume of solution in liter that means normality is defined as number of gram equivalent weight of solute present in 1 liter of the solution that means volume of the solution is in liter this definition also 
expressed in terms of strength madhyam in terms of strength in terms of strength normality may also be may also be represented as may also be represented as that is normality is equal to strength in gram per liter strength in grams per liter divided by equivalent mass strength of the strength in grams per liter divided by equivalent mass that means symbolically we represent it as symbolically we represent as normality is equal to w into 1000 by e into v in ml that means if w is the weight of a solute weight of solute having equivalent mass equal to mass is e with a volume with a volume of v ml with a volume of v ml then normality n is represented as normality is represented as that is w into 1000 by e e means equivalent mass into v volume in ml it is a mathematical form to calculate the normality besides this we have to remember one or two point under the heading of note that means point 1 unit unit of normality that is grams we say the normality is nothing but number of gram equivalent that means it is gram equivalent per liter of the solution it is known as the unit second thing how it depend upon the temperature point two normality normality inversely proportional to the temperature if temperature increases then normality of the solution decreases next point 3 observe that how we calculate the normality of a mixture point 3 how we calculate the normality of a mixture observe that point 3 normality of a mixture that means n mix is equal to n1 v1 plus n2 v2 plus n3 v3 divided by v1 plus v2 plus v3 where n1 n2 n3 are the normality of the different solution having the volume v1 v2 v3 then the normality of the resulting solution n mix is equal to n1 v1 plus n2 v2 plus n3 v3 plus dot 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 divided by v1 plus v2 plus v3 these are some fundamental idea about the normality then we apply this concept while solving one or two problem mark that if 1 gram equivalent of a solute if 1 gram equivalent of solute dissolve in 1 liter of the solution then we say that it is one normal solution or one n we know calculating equivalent mass equivalent mass is equal to atomic mass by valence if it is a s if it is an acid Then molecular mass of acid by basicity. 
if it is a base molecular mass by acidity if it is a salt molecular mass of the salt divided by total valence of the metal ion these are the different way to calculate the equivalent mass of any species so let us apply this concept to solve some problem relating to the equivalent mass mark the question what is the question given question is how much quantity of sodium hydroxide is present in 100 ml of one normal solution so volume is given normality is given we have to calculate the mass of sodium hydroxide required mark that answer first question that means given that given that volume b is equal to 100 ml normality n is equal to 1 then equivalent mass e we know that equivalent mass sodium hydroxide is a base equivalent mass of base is equal to molecular mass of base by acidity molecular mass that is 40 by acidity is 1 is 40 that means we have to calculate the weight we know that we know that n is equal to w into 1000 by e into v r n is calculate w that means w is equal to n into e into v divided by 1000 that means n is given as 1 into e given as 40 into v volume given as 100 divided by 1000 Cancel is equal to four. That means weight is equal to e is equal to four gram. That means four gram of sodium hydroxide. Four gram of sodium hydroxide is present in hundred ml of the solution, making the solution one normal. Move to the second question. What is the second question? Four point nine gram of sulfuric acid is dissolved in water to make five hundred ml. Weight is given four point nine gram. Volume is given five hundred ml of solution. Calculate the normality of the solution. Mark that answer. Given that W is equal to four point nine gram. B is equal to 500 ml. We have to calculate the equivalent mass. So as it is a sulfuric acid, it is acid. Equivalent mass of an acid is equal to molecular mass of acid divided by basicity. What do we mean by basicity? The total number of H plus ion given by an acid is known as its basicity. So molecular mass of sulfuric acid is 98. By the product of two H plus I am equal to forty nine. So we have to calculate the normality. We know normality is equal to W into one thousand by E into B by applying this formula four point nine into one thousand divided by forty nine into B B is given five hundred. So it is divided by two. It is by ten. That means on solving this one, this one four by nine, one can write forty nine by ten. So it is two by ten. That is two by ten. That means it is equal to zero point two n. So normality of the resulting solution when four gram of sodium sulfuric acid dissolved in water to make it five by ten ml, then normality of the solution is zero point two. And it is a little idea about the normality. Then we go to another way to express the concentration that is molarity. Next, we discuss the another way of 
expressing the concentration that is molarity symbol is m what so what do mean by the term molarity it is defined as the number of moles of solute dissolved it is defined as the number of moles of solute dissolved in 1 liter of the solution mark that the molarity of the solution is defined as the number of moles of solute dissolved per liter of the solution that means mathematically molarity molarity that is capital m molarity of the solution is expressed symbolically by the expression is that is number of moles number of moles of solute divided by volume of the solution volume of the solution in liter that means molarity is also expressed as number of moles of solute divided by volume of the solution in liter this molarity also expressed in terms of strength like normality molarity also expressed in terms of strength that is molarity is represented as strength in grams per liter divided by volume of the solution volume of the solution volume of the solution volume of the solution in gram per mole gram per mole that means the molarity also expressed in terms of strength also this is the formula that means again we go through the symbolic representation molarity is equal to w into v by m into w into 1000 into m into v mark that if w gram of solute if w is the weight of solute having molecular mass m dissolved in v liter of the solution then mathematically molarity is represented as m capital m is equal to w into 1000 by m into v where this w is known as weight of the solute in gram m is known as the molecular mass of the solute and v is known as volume of the solution in ml then we have to remember two to three point under the heading of note mark that note point one is unit unit of molarity unit of molarity is moles per liter point two it also depends upon the temperature molarity also depends upon temperature that is molarity inversely proportional to the temperature we can also calculate like normality we calculate normality of a mixture similarly we can calculate molarity of a mixture that is m mix is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 divided by v1 plus v2 mark that if we select the two component that means normality of mixture is equal to m1 v1 by m1 plus v1 into m2 into v2 by v1 plus v2 then fourth one is we have to calculate relationship relationship between normality and molarity it is a very very important relationship between normality and molarity we know that normality is equal to w into 1000 by e into v equation 1 molarity is equal to w into 1000 by m into v equation 
Bihari equation one by equation two. We have mark that. We have put different mark that value of the normality mark by value of the molarity. We have mark that normality divided by molarity. Is equal to is equal to W into one thousand by E into B into M into B divided by W into one thousand. Mark that by cancelling. So W into one thousand W into one thousand cancel B B cancel. That means normality. By molarity is equivalent to molecular mass by equivalent mass. Mark that. Normality by molarity. Mark the relation. Very very important relation. Normality by molarity is equal to molecular mass by equivalent mass. Is equal to taken as Z. Very very important. Molecular mass by equivalent mass taken as Z. Z where Z is known as Valence factor. What do we mean by valence factor? It is the basicity for an acid. It is the acidity of an base. So, basing upon this problem, basing upon this concept, let us solve one or two problem. That means how the molarity of a solution can be calculated. Mark the question. What is the question given? Calculate the molarity of a pure water. Given that density of the pure water is one gram per ml, so we have to calculate the molarity. Mark that answer. B one. We know that. We know that molarity of a solution. We know that molarity of a solution. That means M is equal to W into one thousand. By m into volume v in ml. What are the data given? Mark that. We have to calculate the molarity. We have to calculate the molarity. Weight. Let us take an per liter. That means weight of 1000 ml of water. Mark that. Here, weight of 1000 ml, 1 liter or 1000 ml of water is equal to 1000 gram. So molecular mass of water, molecular mass, molecular mass of water is equal to 18. Volume is one liter. So dividing this value, putting this value here, we have mark that 1000, 1000 volume per liter. It is 1000. Cancel out 1000 by 18. Nearly equal to 55.5 m. So the molarity of the pure water with a density one gram per ml, having the molarity value is 55.5. Move to the next question. What is the next question? That means calculate the molarity of a solution containing 9.8 gram of sulfuric acid into 50 cc of the solution. So first read the question. Then write down what is the given data. Then write we know that the formula. Then put the data in the formula to get the answer. Mark that. The second answer. What are the data given? Mark that. Answer. Given that. W is equal to nine point eight gram. Volume V volume V is equal to two fifty cc. Molecular mass M. We have to calculate the molecular mass of sulfuric acid. That is ninety eight. So putting this value, we know that molarity molarity M is equal to W into one thousand by M into V. By putting this value, weight that is nine point eight. Divided by molecular mass 98 into 
1000 micro kp consolidated for equivalent to 98 by 98 into 4 by 10 reach 0 0.4 molar so the molarity of the solution quantity 9.8 gram of sulfuric acid into 50 ml of the solution molarity is 0 0.4 it is little idea about the percentage, strength, then normality, then molarity. Then switch over to next way of expressing concentration that is molality. Next method is to express next method to represent the concentration is known as molarity. It is defined as number of moles of solute. Molality symbolically small m. It is defined as number of moles of Solute present in one kg of the solvent. Mark that I will again. Molarity is defined as the number of moles of solute dissolved for one kg of the solvent. Mathematically, that is mathematically, mathematically, small m is equal to number of moles of solute divided by weight of solvent weight of solvent in kg that is number of moles of solute divided by weight of the solvent in kg symbolically symbolically we represent that molality is equal to W1 into 1000 by M1 into W2 mark that where W1 is equal to weight of solute M1 is a molecular mass of solute and W2 is equal to weight of solvent Weight of solvent, mark that. How to calculate the weight of solvent? That means weight of the solution minus weight of solute give rise to weight of solvent. So it is the symbolical representation for calculating the value of molarity. After knowing the definition, next we have to remember two to three points under the heading of a note. Mark that under the heading of note, two to three point is there, that is note. Point one is like normality, molarity, and like in normality, molarity, we go through under the heading of note two to three point. One is what is its unit, how it depends upon the temperature. First one is the unit, unit of molarity, normal, unit of molarity. Molality, its unit is moles per kg. Second thing, it is independent, it is independent of temperature. It is the most important thing that normality depends upon the temperature, molarity depends upon the temperature, while molality is the independent of temperature. Next. By knowing this one, let us, it is necessary to solve one or two problem. Mark the question. Next we go through the question. Calculate, important, no doubt the question. Calculate, calculate the molality of the solution. Question. Calculate 
most important thing mark that while solving while solving the question read the question what is the important question what is the concept of the question then think what are the different way to solve the question then only one is able to solve the question mark the question what is the data given data is calculate the molarity of 2.5 gram of acetic acid present in 75 gram of benzene so here 75 gram of benzene that is known as solvent 2.5 gram of acetic acid known as solute so we know the formula answer we know that we know that molality molality small m is equal to w2 w1 into 1000 by m1 into w2 this is a solute weight of solute by molecular mass of solute here is a weight of solvent weight of solute is given that is 2.5 gram by molecular mass acetic acid we know 60 into 1000 divided by weight of solvent that is given that is 75 Mother, on solving this one, the value nearly approximately equal to zero point five gram. So the molality of the solution containing two point five gram of acetic acid dissolved in seventy five gram of benzene is nearly approximately equal to zero point five molality. It is a little idea about the molality. Next, so just about another way of expressing concentration. That is known as mole fraction. Next, we we'll discuss about mole fraction. Symbol is given as X. What do we mean by mole fraction? It is defined as the ratio of Number of moles of one component to the total number of moles present in the solution. For a binary form solution, normally we select the binary solution or ternary solution. What do we mean by binary solution? Where two component is there, usually one solute, one solvent. So if we select for a binary solution, then mole fraction of solute there is x solute. Is equal to number of moles of solute divided by total number of moles of solution. That is number of moles of solute plus number of moles of solvent. Similarly, mole fraction of solvent is equal to number of moles of solvent divided by total number of moles of solution. That is number of moles of solute plus number of moles of solvent. If it is Represented by solvent is one and the solute is two. Then we can write x one is equal to n one by n one plus n two. X two is equal to n two by n one plus n two. Such that for a binary component, mole fraction of all the term, addition of all the mole fraction that means x one plus x two is equal to one. Okay. If we select for a ternary component, similar formula is there. For a ternary component, component x1 is equal to n1 by n1 plus n2 plus n3. x2 is equal to n2 by n1 plus n2 plus n3. x3 is equal to n1 by n n1 by n3 by n1 plus n2 plus n3. So the definition I repeat again the definition. Mole fraction of one component is defined as the ratio of number of moles of that component to the total number of moles of the solution. I repeat again. Mole fraction of one component is defined as the ratio of number of moles of that component to The total number of moles of the solution. Let us apply this concept while solving a problem. Note down a question: A solution containing 
concentration of a solution 